Elizabeth Catlett arrived at a really interesting moment. She came to the University of Iowa from Howard University, where she'd done her undergraduate work. When she finished there in 1935 and decided to come here, she knew that she was coming to an institution that was really at the forefront of rethinking the approach to teaching visual art. At that time, the head of the school was Lester Longman, and the primary faculty member uh, was Grant Wood. It was the fact that he was a artist who was teaching that attracted Elizabeth Catlett to him. In fact, it turns out that Grant Wood becomes her fiercest advocate. She says Grant Wood encouraged her, do what you know, create what you know. So one of her first pieces was a little girl ironing, and she said, I knew a lot about ironing. There were no other institutions at the time that were even awarding the MFA. As a black woman being the first to receive in the nation, not just as a black woman, but being one of the first students to receive the MFA, that alone is significant because it suggests that the production of art, of visual art, is something that is of scholarly significance as well as something that we appreciate um, in a creative way. If you look at her thesis projects, she does a figure in a variety of media, from terracotta to carved stone to plaster cast. She's showing that she is facile with these various techniques. Catlett is producing these beautiful sculptures of black women at the same time that her roommate Margaret Walker is producing a poetry collection for my people, at the same time that Richard Wright is writing novels, of producing art that wouldn't just be appreciated in a museum with rarefied guests who had a kind of sophisticated understanding of art, but also would speak to the everyday African American man or woman on the street that would see something reflected of their own experience in her art. We are so proud that she came to the University of Iowa and received the technical skill to produce this art, but at the same time, very grateful and thankful that as an artist, she continued to be true to her values in making sure that her art spoke to the largest audience possible.